Hey guys, we're Ali and Gary with Roll With Us DMs, professional game masters with over 17 years of experience that also love to go on some side quests with our friends, which you can see here on our channel. Thank you for checking out our videos. If you haven't already, you should quest down to the subscription button and strike the notification bell so you never miss our content. Our links are in the description below. Consider becoming a channel member to access epic perks, including playing in one of our games. Now, on with the video! <laughs> Hi there, and welcome to Refocus. Today, we're going to be focusing in on the difference between Magic Missile, or as it's come to be known in Pathfinder 2nd Edition as Force Barrage. We're going to look at the differences between the DC-20 version the 5th edition D&D version, and the Pathfinder 2nd edition Force Barrage. So, sit tight, get ready to refocus, and let's get to it. So the first one that we're going to take a look at is Magic Missile in DC-20. This is a destruction spell, costs 2 action points and 1 mana point. Again, reminder that you have four action points in DC-20. Range of 10 spaces. Converted to D&D &D and Pathfinder, that's 50 feet. Duration instantaneous. You attempt to fire out glowing darts of magical force. And just like all spells in DC-20, you make a spell check. This one, again like most spells, DC-10. So you roll a 20-sided die. At first level, you're adding plus four, trying to reach a result of 10. On a success, you create two missiles. Uh, each success, five higher than 10, so 15, 20, 25, you would create an extra missile. And on a failure, if your result was less than a 10, you would only create one missile. Each missile automatically deals one force damage to its target. Each missile may have the same or different targets. So the neat thing here is that you're not trying to hit their physical defense or their armor class. This is going to be guaranteed damage. It's also a reliable damage source. There is an interesting thing that Dungeon Coach has talked about where they were actually removing force damage and you would flavor magic missile essentially however you wanted to deal bludgeoning, piercing, slashing, whatever uh, made sense and you could then also with that customization trigger weaknesses in that but that's not really the focus of this video just a side note so one damage may not seem like a lot in DC 20 hit points are much lower so when we look at the 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons and the Pathfinder versions, you'll see they deal more damage. We're more concerned with how many missiles you can create and how does this compare to the other systems, especially in relation to their action cost or mana cost, spell slots, so on and so forth. There are some mana point enhancements. It is also noteworthy that in DC-20, you can only spend one mana point on a spell at first level, so you would not be able to do these mana point enhancements until at least third level or higher, and then, of course, at fifth level, um, it would continue to scale to where you could spend three mana points on a spell. So, let's see what we get. We can do more damage, uh, where we can spend a mana point to get plus one missile, or range for one mana point, we can increase the range to 15 spaces instead of 10. So we get an extra 25 feet essentially and um, 75 feet for the range. Now, let's take a look at the 5th edition version. We have a first level evocation spell with a casting time of one action, range 120 feet. You can target a creature of your choice that you can see within range. Components verbal and somatic. Duration instantaneous. You create three glowing darts of magical force. Each dart hits a creature of your choice that you can see within range. 
A dart deals a d4 plus one force damage to its target. The dart strikes simultaneously, and you could direct them to hit one or one creature or several. And then when you cast this spell using a spell slot of second level or higher, it creates one more dart for each spell slot above first. So interesting to note, you are for your main action and a first level spell slot automatically getting three darts of magical force. To get this equivalent in DC 20, you would need to score a 15 on that spell check that would give you your three darts. Uh, it is noteworthy that in DC 20, you have four actions. So that was taking two of your actions and you would still have two actions to do other things or even cast magic missile a second time although that spell check would be at disadvantage you could in essence in one turn if you hit two 15s get six darts worth of damage so when we're looking at the two magic missiles it's important to realize how the action economy does kind of sway things between DC 20 and 5th edition. However, some of the highlights of the 5th edition version range 120 feet versus 50 in DC 20. And the upcast is going to add that extra dart. So when we compare that to the mana point enhancement of DC 20, we see that it's comparable because adding a second mana to magic missile would be similar to upcasting this magic missile. Uh, also noteworthy that the first time that you cast magic missile uh, in DC 20, especially because you don't have disadvantage on that check, that you could even spend a third action, so two to cast it, and a third one to give yourself advantage on that spell check. If you made a 20 on your spell check, you would then be getting that fourth bolt, uh, fourth missile, right there. Okay, let's take a look at the Pathfinder version. So, Pathfinder 2nd Edition has changed Magic Missile to get away from the OGL, and they have changed the name to Force Barrage. It is a first level spell, or as they call it now, a rank one spell. Uh, it has the traits of Concentrate, Force, and Manipulate. Uh, these traits really are more for things like, say, Rage. You can't take Concentrate actions while you're Raging. Uh, manipulate, anything with a Manipulate trait triggers Attacks of Opportunity, or as they're called now, Reactive Strikes. So these tags are more for those kinds of things. Uh, continuing on, we see it's uh, Arcane Occult. Uh, it belongs to Nethys' domain. So clerics who are uh, worshippers of Nethys would potentially have access to this spell. Uh, range 120 feet, that's the same as 5th edition, and it uh, targets one creature. Also... Uh, interesting to cast one action to three actions. So for those unfamiliar, Pathfinder 2nd Edition has a three-point action economy. You, with Force Barrage, can spend one, two, or three actions casting the spell. And as we read it, we'll see how that plays into the effect of the spell. So... You fire a shard of solidified magic toward a creature that you can see. It automatically hits and deals 1d4 plus 1 force damage. For each additional action you use when casting this spell, increase the number of shards you shoot by 1 to a maximum of 3 shards for 3 actions. You choose the target for each individual shard. If you shoot more than one shard at the same target, combine the damage before applying bonuses or penalties to damage resistance, weakness, and so forth. Before I look at the heightened ability, it's important to note that you're getting the same damage as the 5th edition magic missile, 1d4 plus 1. 
another thing that's interesting here is you can cast this flexibly if you need to move and then spend two actions you can cast this for two actions and you're going to get two bolts to um, magic missiles essentially but another interesting comparison between this and the fifth edition version is the fifth edition version for that one action which is your main action is giving you three blasts this is going to take your entire turn if you wanted to just blast out magic missile at three targets you're not going to be able to move you're not going to be able to cast anything else this is your whole turn if you spend all three actions on it so in comparison to the dc20 version then if we compare directly dc20 to pathfinder second edition we're going to see that as so we go back over to the dc20 version you're making this spell check if you succeed you're getting two missiles and that's two action points and a mana point so very comparable to pathfinder second edition in that sense that if you spent your first level spell slot in pathfinder second edition and two actions you would get two missiles however you have the op opportunity here to get a third or a fourth for that same two action point cost. So that's pretty cool. Very likely, I would think that you could hit that 15 and get that third, and then you'd still have two actions left. Whereas in Pathfinder, it's going to be your whole turn. And again, in comparison to 5th edition, at first level, while it's cool that you can flexibly cast this, to me it feels bad to quote-unquote waste a first level spell slot on this if you're only going to use one action. Whereas in 5th edition you're getting those three missiles for that singular action. However, when you heighten Force Barrage, I think it stands head and shoulders above the others because you fire one additional shard with each action you spend. So looking at the bottom there, height and plus two. Height and plus two means for every two levels above the initial level. So that would be first, third, fifth, seventh, and ninth. Every one of those spell slots that you use, you would get uh, one additional shard for each action you spend. So at first level, you're getting one missile per action. But if you spend a third level spell slot, you're getting two missiles per action you spend. Meaning, if you spend all three actions, you're getting six missiles for a total of 64 plus six damage. So, um, very good. And then of course, if you go up to a fifth level spell slot, which you're talking a ninth level character at that point, uh, you would get three missiles per action spent. And then you're talking, if you spend all three actions, nine D4 plus nine. And if you compare that, we'll go back to the fifth edition version quick. If you were to, let's say at the top, at the very pinnacle here, you spend a ninth level spell slot on magic missile. Not recommended, but if you did, you would get your three missiles for first level, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You would get eleven missiles, dealing one d four plus one damage each. Looking at force barrage, if you were to spend a ninth level spell slot on this, then you would get. 1st, 3rd, 5th, 7th, ninth. 5 missiles per action spent. That's 15 D4 plus 1 for each missile. Uh, much more powerful than the 5th edition version once you get to the higher levels. And the other thing that's also noteworthy then is that for Force Barrage, if you spend the 
one action, but you use, like, let's say a fifth level slot, fifth level spell slot, you would get the equivalent of a first level magic missile just with that singular action. Um, and then let's just quickly cap off looking at the DC 20 version. If we were to be capable of spending nine um, mana points on a spell, we would be looking at getting eight extra missiles, one mana point to cast the spell, and then we could spend eight for additional missiles. So that would be plus eight. 910 for the base spell and then uh, more for each additional uh, success uh, five over and I would think that by the time you can cast uh, a spell using nine mana points you should be able to uh, get a couple successes over five you should be able to get to maybe 30 or so and you know you'd be looking at an additional four maybe so uh, 4 plus 8, 12 plus those two, fourteen, And uh, I would have to conclude at this point that it seems that at the highest end, Force Barrage is probably uh, the best. Uh, at the lowest end, it seems like the 5th edition version is probably the guaranteed most powerful, although... It's very likely that the DC-20 version is going to be similar to that 5th edition version, where you're going to get those three missiles. And the biggest drawback to the Pathfinder 2nd edition version at first level, it is directly comparable to the 5th edition version, as long as you're willing to make it be the only thing that you do on your turn. And when you look at the 5th edition system and that version of the spell, you can cast that 3 missile, magic missile, and still move, and still use a bonus action on some other spell or ability as long as it's um, a cantrip. But you, you definitely have more flexibility in your turn in 5th edition getting 3 bolts versus the Pathfinder 2nd Edition version in order to get those three bolts where it takes your entire turn. So anyway, uh, that was my look at Magic Missile across the three systems. This refocus has run a little bit longer. Uh, I thank you for hanging in there with me, but as the new rules for Pathfinder 2nd Edition have changed with the remaster, and now you can regain multiple focus points as long as you're willing to take the extra time. I feel extra refocused. I've gotten two focus points back, and I'm ready to tackle that next adventure. So come with me next week as we refocus on a new topic, and have a great day. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content that you just saw, consider joining one of our games at startplaying.gaming forward slash roll with us DMs.